dicing, deep frying, and grilling. This kitchen just over an hour east of our city is turning heads in the rural community of Maple Creek, satisfying stomachs since owner Tina Cresswell opened its doors. We're getting very positive comments. We have people who travel regularly from Edmonton to Regina who don't go the short way anymore. They come around the long way so that they can eat at the Star. The Star restaurant quickly gained acceptance in a largely agricultural community, but now management want this to become more than just a destination for a good steak or burger. We've basically geared it for teaching. Colorful meals will soon be accompanied by trained chefs on the menu here. The rural restaurant will be opening a culinary school in October. Head chef Noi Lim has a full staff, but worker shortages in the province and a demand for foreign workers already have the Cooking Institute attracting attention. Awareness partly stemming from plans to pull students from countries like the Philippines. When we were there, we were able to see the need for um, people who wanted to migrate at the same time and at the same time, you know, find something for themselves, like uh, when they migrate here. International students won't be working the grill until the new year, but staff already have big plans for the kickoff this fall. We have a five-year um, program, a five-year plan actually, that in five years we have a bigger facility that could accommodate probably around 40 to 60 students a year. We have very good restaurants here. We have a farmer's market here. We have food producers here. We have a winery here. Chef Noy and his team will attempt to fill gaps in kitchens across Alberta with skilled cooks, but he also says the school may be aimed at getting him some time off. When we have more people trained, more people working, uh, then I get the time off. I can go fishing. <laughs> Scott Cunningham, Chat News.